WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, partly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have most of the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The one that is not as the transports, they're off 17 points. It's about one-tenth of a percent to the downside. No big deal there. Two-tenths to the upside for the NASDAQ. I'm sorry, for the uh, Dow. That's up 68 points. A half a percent for the S&P, 25 points. A little over one percent for the NASDAQ. That's 163 points. Russell is up uh, over one percent, 42 points there. You've got gold trading out at 1965. That's up nearly four bucks. 62 pennies or two and a half percent for silver is the move there. 2494 is the print. Lights we crude up 90 cents. 7664 is what that is printing out at. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. What we can see here is price yesterday negated that Rhodes Mintum indicator top. So that signal is no longer there. There is uh, still a uh, uh, a uh, uh, relative strength divergent pattern that is out there that needs a bearish reversal candle to identify a top. But at this stage here, price should continue to move higher. If you take a look at spot volatility, it's well below the 50-day exponential moving average. That uh, puts the uh, wind at the sales for the S&P 500 for the bulls. If you take a look at the NQ, it closed today, just like yesterday. It closed today above 15.475.50 would negate its TD, TD sequential count. I just got TD9 up there. It's really not. But the TD sequential count. And so then it also would have no top. Now, it has triggered a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. So the next bearish reversal candle, should one form, would identify or could identify a top. It just depends whether or not that... Um, whether or not that pattern is still in place at that point in time. U.S. dollar index has, uh, main, has achieved more than the 1 to 1.272. A to B equals CD to the downside. Next price target around 98.87. That's the 1.618 expansion. Gold yesterday closed above the top of its daily profile. It closed above the center of its weekly profile. Its next price target would be 19.95. Silver right now giving us the most important signal of all. The question is, will it close a day above 24.77 or 24 93. Why is 2477 important? The reason is because that is where a counter trend move would end from a weekly perspective. So does it matter where it closes today? No, it really matters where it closes tomorrow. And that's at that 2477 level. So have that jotted down on your pad of paper. Lights be crude. It does have a TD9 count top in place. It'll be negated with a close above 7594. And if that happens, folks, that says lights be crude likely to head to 8109. We don't have that message just yet. Stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show if you would. But if you're off to start your day, please have a terrific one. And thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.